That's an awesome synth. Big sounding, wide. Let's get right to it. All right, so we're gonna first open up a combinator. And in the combinator, we're gonna go ahead and add a line mixer. In the line mixer, we're gonna add a Thor. Now in the Thor, let's open up the show programmer. And in here, we're gonna put, let's turn on all these oscillators and we're gonna make them all multi-oscillators. All right. Everything's gonna be fine for the octave. We're gonna leave at four, octave down here, five, and this one also at five. Now, we're really just gonna change the tunes. So, the tune at eight, the amount at 36, next tune at negative six, amount at 36, and then over here, the tune to nine, and the amount at 36. Now we're going to make sure that this is a state variable filter and the frequency will be all the way to the right at 21.6. The resonance will be at 43. And we're going to go ahead and turn on the delay, but we're not going to put the, set, the tempo sync and the time will be 134 milliseconds. Um, then we're also going to put the the uh, feedback to 22 and then the rate at 0.47 dry wet at 19 filter 3 we're going to make that a comb filter and the drive at 75 frequency all the way to the right resonance at 38 and the envelope and velocity far left. Now let's hear how that sounds. Almost. Now the filter envelope at zero. This is fine. The sustain, we're going to put it to negative infinity and then the release all the way to the top. The amp envelope, we're going to put that at 1.2. 4.35 is fine. Actually here we're going to change this to um, 821 milliseconds and then negative 4.7 here and then the release at 1.09. Now here we're going to put this at 1.24 negative 27.6 and then 1.24 leave it there and then we're going to add another Thor but what we're going to do is we're going to copy the patch and paste it on here so we're going to open that up and all we're going to do is just change the tune um, this is going to we want to label this our um, wide synth and I'm going to go back here to the other Thor and label it our center synth. Um, and the reason why is you always have a, when you have a big synth, you have a center synth. And then you take, a, you have other two, two other synths, one to pan to the left and one the other one to the right. Um, and that gives you this wide synth. But we want to adjust these a bit so that way you can distinguish them your ear can distinguish them because the sounds are slightly different and it'll give you that perception that there is a stereo field if everything sounds the same at the left right and middle channel channel then it's going to sound like it's mono so it won't sound too good so all we're going to do here is change uh, the tune tune put it at zero here for the first one this one at uh, negative 14 and then the tune over here at 28. You could change it further and mess around with it and see what you get. Also filter three will be a low pass filter. Uh, the resonance we're gonna put at 20 and then the envelope at 33 and then the velocity at 47. Let's see what we got. Okay, so now we're gonna add an EQ 
with the low cut, low shelf gain to 1.7. Uh, parameter 1, the frequency at 206.6, the gain at negative 5.7, and the Q at 3.3. All we're doing is cutting out the mud right there, muddy sounds. And then frequency for parameter 2 at 2.130, um, 2.9 is a gain, push that up a little bit, and then 1.0 will be your Q. And then the high shelf, turn that on, put the gain to 2.9. Now we're going to then add a vocoder. Put the equalizer, 4 band, put the shift to 63. Alright, so sounds getting a little bit wider. Not wider, but brighter. Um, now we got the vocoder in there, then we're going to add a phaser. Um, in our phaser, the frequency to 102, and then everything else at zero. Um, you can always play around with the split. And the width, you get this crazy sound, um, and it's used in a lot of dance music. And now we're going to create the Haas effect. So we're going to go ahead and add an audio merger splitter. And we're gonna turn it around, and then we're gonna take the out of the phaser and put it into the merger splitter, um, into the input. And then we're gonna right click, and to create the Haas effect, we're gonna create a delay. And we're gonna hold down shift, just so we don't route anything. So essentially, this is the, the goal. We want to get this one, this wide synth. Right now, it's it's a stereo synth, but it really sounds like one sound. So we want to take the signal and we're going to split it, and that we're going to put it into a left and right channel. But the left channel will go through the delay line, so that there's going to be a slight delay, making that that left sound sound even different because it's coming a little bit later. So if both sounds came in at the right time, then you couldn't tell, you wouldn't be able to tell the left and right. And so it'll sound very mono. But because we're gonna delay the left channel a little bit, it's gonna give our brain the perception that there are two distinct things going on on the left and right. So it's gonna give it a wider perception of stereo field. So in here, we're going to take the output into the input. And the output, we're gonna to put to channel two of our mixer. Um, let's just label that as our left synth. And then the second output of the splitter into channel three, and let's label that. I'm gonna right synth. All right, let's add that this is delayed. Okay, just so you understand what's going on here. Now let's go ahead and play with the features. The milliseconds, we're gonna drop to 40, 41. And the feedback, we're gonna bring that down to zero, left to right in the middle, dry wet all the way to 127. Let's go to the mixer and pan it to left and right. All right, let's see what we got right now. Let's turn everything down a little bit. Uh, put it down to about 84. 84. Um, even this output to 84. It's a little bit loud right now. Okay, 82. That's fine. All right. So it's getting there. All right, now the mixer. Um, what we want to do now is add a compressor. Um, but I'm going to hold down shift so that I don't route it. Otherwise, it'll go in as a send effect, and that's not what I want. So hold down shift. Compressor. Here we go. Turn it around. Take the out to the input. And now I'm going to hold down. Um, I'm not going to hold anything down. I'm actually going to go ahead and route an RV7000. So it's already routed. Take the output into the from devices. Now everything's set. Turn it over. 
And for the reverb, I'm going to put all film score. I'm going to put the decay up to about 106 and or 108. And the dry wet down to 20. Let's hear what we got now. All right, cool. Now for the compressor, I put it about 2.1. 2 okay, I'll drop a little bit, the uh, attack. Threshold down a little bit. All right, sounds sounding good. So now let's go ahead and go to the show programmer because we want to control that uh, frequency from the sound to, to get that common dance music feel. So I'm going to control on rotary one, I'm going to put the filter one frequency. And that's going to be for my center synth. And I'm going to go to my wide synth again. And I'm going to control filter three frequency. Now let's see how it sounds. There we go. There you go. Um, you can download this patch and others at my site, gfill.com. You can also check out my new refill, Dance Anthem Tools, uh, that contains all the essentials for making powerful dance music. Subscribe to my channel so you can get these uh, tutorials and production tips. And remember, don't just make a beat, make a masterpiece. Take care, everybody.